So I get asked all the time about what equipment I use or what gear I use or what cameras and such I use to do these videos. So I figured I'll just show you. So most of us use a GoPro because it's small, it's convenient, it's lightweight, and it's super easy. And I have one of those myself. I have this guy. Now it's not an actual GoPro, it's called an SJ Cam. It does 80% of what the GoPro does at 40% of the price. And it comes with a lot of accessories too. I got a waterproof case, a little tripod I can use to stick it on the table, and I also have a little suction cup thing so I can stick it to the windshield when I'm driving. I really like this. It was one of the first cameras I got for this. It does me, it does me well. It even has Wi-Fi. Now, for lighting, I have one of these. It's called a light bar or a light square or something like that. But it's really good mobile portable lighting. And it's charged by batteries, just by six regular AA batteries. It gets super bright. As you can see, it really lights up a dark room when I need it. And I got my shotgun mic. It's really simple, it's super easy. You know, you got your mount right there so you can see it goes on top of the camera. It's got the little plug right here to plug into the camera and the little buttons on the side. It definitely makes the sound and the audio better. I'm not using it for this because, well, I wanna show it to you. Then I've got my B camera is what I call it. It's this guy right here. It's a little Nikon Coolpix B500. It does the job pretty darn well. You know, it's got a little articulating screen. You know, it's got all sorts of nice little buttons on the back. This guy pops off, this guy comes out. And the good thing about this guy is it just uses regular rechargeable batteries too. So it, it's pretty kick-ass. You don't really have to do much with it. And then when you need that close shot or you gotta get super close, I have my old phone. I have my LG G6. This used to be the phone I was using until I upgraded. Then I realized the camera on here and all the extra things that the camera does would be fantastic for this. And I use it on a gimbal. Now, I don't know if you guys know what a gimbal is, but a gimbal is kind of designed to be able to give you that steady shot. You know, you can move it and it still stays pretty steady. If you want to get that good smooth panoramic too, it's got a little button on here where you can do all that. I mean, you can see, it moves the camera. There's good little motors in here. You can get your side to side. You can get your panoramics and all of that. The gimbal, it's my newest one. And these are pretty, pretty effective. I got a cell phone gimbal. I got this guy here for under a hundred bucks. Now I'm gonna show you my drone. I don't use this guy as much as I'd like. It's fun to fly. And when I do get it up in the air on good days, good weather, and I cut it into the footage, it does pretty good. It is the drone I use. It's called the Breeze 4K drone. It's by a company called Unique. It's got the, it's a quadcopter. It's got the little legs that pop down. And the battery pops out right there. Battery itself will get you about 10 minutes of actual flight time. 
you can record about 32 gigs on the internal memory in this and then it fills up and you just have to take it off. Now the controller for the drone is there's an app on your phone. Yeah, it's pretty kick-ass. You don't even need to have a fancy controller. You can just install the app and use that to control it and mess with all the drone settings. You can even download from the internal memory on the drone straight to your phone. It's pretty kick-ass. Now we're gonna talk about my main camera. This is the camera I use is my, for my main shots. It kinda does almost everything we need it to do. And I'm using my phone and the gimbal to show you my main camera. That's my main camera. That's my Lumix G7. Now the, the wonderful part about this that I love the most is the flip around oscillating screen. So I can set the shot when I'm looking at it and then flip it to see and make sure it's good and it's nice and tight. Now this thing has a butt ton of settings on it. Let's uh, turn this around and show you the back of it. Now here's the top. You can see all these nice awesome buttons up here. Here's the lens that'll let you zoom in and out and focus. Nice hot shoe mount. All sorts of knobs and dials. There's so many settings on this. I've had this guy a while and can't even figure him out. And you can see the screen just kind of pops right back in there. And you can then look through the eye hole. It's fantastic. I mean, you can do so much with this guy. You can do so much with it. So that's basically the gear I use. I have a few little connectors here and there, a little modifier, you know, a little, but that's the main stuff. I use regular cheap tripods from Amazon. I don't use anything special. I don't use anything fancy. Regular micro SD cards, regular rechargeable batteries. Nothing super fancy. Really does the job. Um, I'll put links to all the stuff I use in the description box below. So you can check it out more for yourself. You can see pricing and all of that. But I'll tell you, I don't got a lot of money. I really enjoy doing this, so I buy stuff when I need it. Um, the most expensive thing I have is the Lumix G7 camera. And I got it on sale for 500 bucks a while back. Everything else I have is less than 250 bucks. Most of it runs right around 100 or 150. So this whole YouTube thing, it's, it's not expensive. You can really make it work with the technology you have, with the things you have, the devices you have, and a couple bits and parts and pieces and accessories here and there. It really doesn't take much. So I hope you liked the video. Be sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and if you want to know more about the equipment I have, there will for sure be links to a whole bunch of stuff in the description box below. Check it out, they're not affiliate links. Nobody's paying me for this. I'm just answering questions that I get asked all the time.